Welcome back guys, Smurfy back for the last round with the sweet blue red prowess deck and again we're on the play which is awesome and this hand doesn't have a creature and yeah it's pretty simple mulligan there and we'll keep this it's not great but it's it's fine I think we're just looking for, cre uh, for lands and stuff at this point, we can keep this just to trigger prowess but I don't think that's worth keeping we could have like went kept it and then went turn one spy bluff into it, but I think we'd rather just play Storm Chaser Mage on turn two guaranteed anyway, so I don't think there's any reason to do anything stupid with that. Storm Chaser Mage is sweet, and then we can just go shock something next turn if we need to. And hopefully we can play these Chandras on curve. And get the ball rolling. But um yeah, hand so far not looking too bad, but again not very aggressive. Okay, so we're actually drawing really well in this game for us. Uh, hopefully we can shock something into Chandra. I'm not really sure what our opponent is doing playing ru uh, two ruins. So there must be like some red Eldrazi deck. Well, that's very annoying for us to play against because now they can attack Chandra next turn for four. So if they have their own Chandra, they can go Chandra, tick up, deal two damage to Chandra, then a crew heart of Kirin with their Chandra kill us. But obviously we can't play around that, so we're just gonna play one and plus. Play eighth hub, yeah. They must be an Eldrazi style deck to play that many colorless sources. Um Let's just take up and see what we get. Should have played the Storm Chaser Mage first, maybe. Uh, yeah, should have played the Storm Chaser Mage first, actually, but can't be helped now. Because now if we, I guess it doesn't really make much difference, yeah. So we're going for two and pass the turn back. Next turn we could deal, we could cast insult, deal four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we can almost kill them next turn. Because Shock would deal 4, this would get prowess twice up to 3, so it would be 4, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Actually, in fact, if we draw an untapped land, then Incendiary Flow would kill our opponent. But looks like they're going to kill Chandra here. I gotta redirect the Chandra to kill her. So, Mountain. Wait, so what do we want? What's the most optimal line? So we can go like insult, attack into this, then they can go like make this a blocker, kill that, trample through, oh sorry, kill that with four blocks, then that dies. Yeah, I think that's like the other option is to play Chandra first. One, two, three, four, and then no. Actually, yeah, because we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, activate Chandra. No, because we need the mana. No. So, yeah, let's go insult. So now we attack Chandra. They're going to activate the Heart of Kirin, and we shock the Heart of Kirin, but it will deal 4 damage because of insult, and then the 
Some Fierce Mage will actually kill the Chandra. And we do have the other side of the uh, insult to injury to in our graveyard if we need that. Yeah, definitely. They definitely have to be in our drowsy deck with that many colorless lands in their deck. Two, three, four. Huh. So we can just go like deal three, six, nine to our opponent, put them to seven. I think we want to play Chandra first. Yeah, at this point we're just racing their Ardrazi and hope they don't have another Reality Smasher. Which they do. <laughs> and we pretty much just have to draw something really good at this point. We could have just went like in their face again, hit them again with that and then hopefully draw another... Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, what we should have actually done was use that because now one, two, one, two, yeah. Should have done that just because it's more mana efficient for how much damage we're going to get through. Because this would have dealt. I guess no, they would have dealt two damage to the face anyway. Yep, that's just game. Because I've got Trample, we can't block efficiently or anything like that. So, on to boarding. Maybe we want this just because it can do like 5 damage to them without Drazi and things. I really don't know what we, what we want against their deck. I'm almost convinced that our main deck is just optimal against them. Because we obviously we don't want to be bouncing reality smashes. Because we mean you have to discard cards. I don't think we want counter magic. They seem fairly clunky, so fever vision seems fine. Pretty sure we just played the same list. And hopefully the game will go a little bit better than last time. Maybe we don't want Unsummon because it's, it's so bad against Reality Smasher, but against other things it's fine. It's just Reality Smasher is very difficult for us to deal with. And we definitely want to play first. And no land. Oh, this hand is really bad. We have to draw a land within two turns and we just lose. But the hand is so aggressive with two root of form, I think we keep this and hope for the best. If we can draw a mountain with the next within the next like two turns, then we have such an aggressive hand I think it's worth keeping. Okay, sweet. Super lucky there. And Riddle Forms are actually really good when you draw multiples because you cast one and the next one you cast another one which triggers the one before it. So they like chain into each other really nicely. Scrap Heap Scrounger, sure. And then next time we can use like Incendiary Flow on this, exile this, attack for 6. 
That's a really nice clock we've got here. Aethosphere Harvester. So if they don't attack, which they haven't, we can just use a braid here, which is really nice for us. And they've missed out on the attack with the scrap heap. Yeah, this game's going really well for us. Next time we can go like incendiary flow their face and hit them for three six nine. I think it's just I don't really know what they could do from this point. That's not bad. So do we play Soul Scar Mage here and then the next turn Incendiary Float? Hmm. It's really annoying that we just haven't drawn a third land. We can just Incendiary Float the Scrap Heap and hope they don't have another creature. They don't accru uh, accrue the half care, and then we actually want to use the. Ri oh shit! We shouldn't have done that because they're probably gonna. Okay, so now we're not gonna activate this one. We're just gonna pass the turn. Yeah, the reason to activate them was in case they didn't crew, but if they do crew, then obviously we don't want to activate these because now it's open to removal spells. Luckily, they didn't have one. Really need to draw a third land at some point. Obviously, they only could take fever divisions there. So now the question is do we want to sacrifice one of our riddle forms to get in three damage? That'll put them to 8. That'll take 2 from the Fever Edition, down to 6. I actually think that we'd rather get the damage in at this point. Which is annoying that we went for the Scrap Heap Scrounger. Um, but yeah, I think we just have to get the damage in at this point and try and kill our opponent as quickly as possible. Because this, when they start playing like reality smashes, we're just going to lose the race so badly. So our opponent's going to take two down to six, and then if we can draw like a burn spell, we can do like three, four, five, six, seven. I guess if we draw a burn spell with them, we wouldn't be able to cast it on the Storm Chaser Mage though. Well, that's about the worst thing that they could have played for us because of Lifelink. <laughs> Another Heart of Garen. <laughs> Don't know why they've done that. Oh, they want to just get Hellbent for the Fever Divisions not to kill them. Shouldn't have played that. It looks like our opponent's looking pretty good this game because of the Aethersphere Harvester with 5 energy which means they're just going to keep gaining through and the Fever Divisions at this point is probably not going to keep dealing damage another Thorn Lance here probably take the Crash through or the Chaser Mage I 
think I would probably just take the crash through though. They've also got the difficult question is whether they want to attack or not. Because they want to get the lifelink with the Aethersphere Harvester, so what they want to do is crew and attack now. But this means they have one less blocker. Oh, okay, they have Chandra's Defeat. This guy is incredible. You'll uh, deal 5 damage to target red creature or planeswalker. Um, if it was a planeswalker, you made a loot, which is insane. I really don't like cards like this in standard because they're just too powerful, I think. Like just one mana deal five damage is just like modern power level. Obviously it's restrictive because it's like a sideboard card, but it's still just so powerful. I don't, I don't think it's very good for modern. Sorry for standard. We're just going to get the damage in. We could block, but we're like... Just doesn't achieve that much. Now, unfortunately, it would because we drew like shock, but I don't think we want to activate this just because it opens up to removal. So yeah, like if we activated it, all it does like, it doesn't do anything. It can't block anything, so or it can't block any. We don't want to use it to block anything, so there's just no point. Probably want to keep at least one thing back. They're going to activate this, so they're going to go up to 11. And we're going to take 7. Yeah, there's no reason to block. I think we just want to try and kill them as soon as possible. Like, just blocking it just slows the game down, and they're going to win next turn anyway. Uh, should have done upkeep scry one, actually. Too late now, but we can go and see what we would have drawn. Storm Chase Mage, yeah, that's just game. It's just we just don't have enough to do anything. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, our opponent wins that game. The Chandra's defeat was very good, but uh, I don't, it obviously it wasn't what won the game. It was the Aethersphere Harvester and the <laughs> three Thought Nozzles. But um. I hope you enjoyed this league. If you want to see more decks, uh, like in stand and things like that, I'm going to play more aggressive decks of things like Blue Red Prowess, Mono Red Aggro, uh, Red Green Pummeler, things like that. So if you want to watch that kind of deck, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. New videos Wednesdays and Fridays, and peace.